So I spent some time in Africa, uh, in a slum community, and one day, me and two friends, we uh, decided that we felt like God was leading us to go pray for people uh, in the slums. And so we, we, we walked down into the valley, uh, moving around, sliding through the mud, uh, squeezing our way through tiny areas, and we get to a row of houses, maybe walking around 15, 20 minutes just asking God, where are you directing us? We get to a row of, of shacks, uh, and we, we think, this is where God is guiding us. And so we, we go to the first door, we knock on the door, and a, a young mother, maybe 28, 29 years old, opens the door. Uh, she invites us in to her 10 by 10 foot room, dark, uh, dimly lit, five kids spread out throughout this small room. And we ask her, how can we pray for you? And uh, she starts crying starts sharing a story that her husband had left her. She had no money, no way to take care of her kids, no way to pay for their schools or food or anything. And she said that very morning she was going to feed her five kids rat poison, take their lives, and then take the poison herself to end her life. But all of a sudden, a knock at the door, and three guys show up asking how we can pray for her. So we start praying for her and the presence of Jesus comes into that place and she commits her life to follow Jesus and her older kids as well and, and I just a spirit of peace came into that place and we walked out of that, that room completely uh, different from when we walked in knowing that Jesus was guiding us. We came back the next day and gave her a Bible, came back the day following after that. She wasn't there but her kids showed us the Bible and she had underlined verses and, and was reading the Bible all night they said. And even today, there's a family in this slum community who's alive, who's serving Jesus because we believed that He is with us. He is empowering us. And we left the church building out into the slums, believing that God has a plan and a destiny for every person.